So, I'm Brandon Ng. I'm 21 years old, a third year in college, and I tend to overthink a lot. I'm not exactly sure of where it all stems from, but what I can say is that it has been lingering throughout my entire life for as long as I can remember. And I've been in the process of trying to counteract it, or at least cope with it somehow. But I just haven't found a good solution for it quite yet. To put it in perspective, in those moments, it feels like there's this pressure that s slowly starts to consume you. And, you know, depending on the severity of it and how lost you are in that moment, and the fact that you don't know when it's gonna come hit you, you can't help but to feel hopeless. You don't know where to begin to sort it out. You don't know what to do. And it just happens. And once you realize you're there, it's too late. It happens when I wake up, going to school, when I'm working, when I just want to enjoy my time and reconnect with friends, on my downtime, at home, where it's supposed to be safe, especially with family, when all I want to do is take a break from it and sleep. It can follow me anywhere. Everywhere. I'm assuming part of it has to do with criticism. Me being my worst critic, but like most people, They notice that there are things not up to their standards or just something they're lacking in. They compare to other people. And no matter how small it is to others, they notice it. And that's why it matters to them. It's big to them. And um, another side of it, I think, is fear. I'm scared of making mistakes. In most cases, this is triggered by my own criticism that I've acquired myself that has become ingrained in me. Just from being afraid of outcomes and just burning myself out with never ending hypotheticals and what ifs and, and, and questions and just being indecisive. Feeling like I'm, 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 I'm kept down and, and cut short and not being in the position to, to, to fully explain myself, to fully reason and, 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 and express myself. Trying to decide what I want to say, how I want to say it, the wording, the timing, what I want to do, how I want to do it, and how will others be affected by this. It's 
like it's practically anything you know it, 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 it it's just tiring i just exhaust myself for no reason because i just want to be super careful when i find myself in these conditions i feel lost like i don't know where to go i don't know who to turn to i just internalize everything i am religious on a side note i do pray about it but i just you know i feel powerless alone you know and so in a given moment you know i'll just keep trying to dig and scramble for something else to say in a in mid conversation if i'm you know just dry at that moment and i'll beat myself up for making a mistake or i'll cut myself short because i overanalyzed it and maybe made it way too complicated for me to just put out for some reason or like take a single moment and I'm dwelling on it because of something I said or what I didn't do or whatever it is I'll just soak into the environment we're in you know I'll just absorb whatever there is or you just let it go like clouds in the sky and it just naturally flows through the air and maybe there's like clear blue sky or there's another one that replaces it where it was at you know so that caging thought let it leave your system um, over time um, and hopefully another thought will distract you from it or um, an activity or stimulant or another conversation or just something that will free you from that but um, other than that I want to show you how the thoughts that I have feel they're not literally different voices in my head yelling or speaking or whispering to me you know they're just that's just how they feel sometimes at different situations, how deep it is, and whatnot. 